As Joseph Ed Poe said, malaria kills the unknown in the society, the quiet people who are building the nation. There are so many people dying in the villages, but nobody will talk about them. The rise of malaria is becoming an epidemic in sub-Saharan African countries. The bite of a mosquito is responsible for taking the lives of over a million vulnerable Africans annually. And while there are some preventions for this life-threatening illness, the ongoing issue dominates defensive areas by increasing poverty, endangering an overpopulation of children, and draining many economies. So, what is malaria? Malaria is an illness caused by a parasite protozoan in an Anopheles mosquito. The parasites multiply in the host's liver before traveling and destroying red blood cells. When infected, humans may suffer from a high fever, headache, nausea, yellow skin, coma, or even death. Symptoms are flu-like, and often people diagnose themselves incorrectly, which makes treatment unsuccessful and very hard. Malaria is not common in northern African countries like Algeria or Egypt. In fact, due to the high altitude and dry desert climate, malaria does not spread like it does in the wet and more tropical climates in the south, where mosquitoes lay eggs and transmit the disease. In fact, Algeria has only four reported cases of malaria, while a southern country like Liberia has over 1,915,000. This epidemic takes away a child every minute in Africa, where it is estimated that 9 out of 10 of malaria deaths occur. In 2013, there were 528,000 deaths from malaria, and about 78% of these were children under the age of 5. Moreover, 1,200 children die from malaria in the sub-Saharan region every day, and many children are exposed to the disease without any awareness or knowledge about its severities, meaning they will continue to be infected and killed. The impact of malaria takes its toll on the poorest, Africans who are least able to afford preventative measures and medical treatment. According to UN economists, malaria is one of the top four causes of poverty. Therefore, the absence of work and medical costs only adds to the poverty poor Africans face and can't handle. According to the European Alliance Against Malaria, every year malaria is estimated to cost Africa $12 billion in lost gross domestic product. It is estimated that the disease has slowed economic growth in Africa by 1.3% per year as a result of lost life and lower productivity. What eco economics call it, a growth penalty. When repeated year after year, it is a serious burden to economic development. Some preventions can be spread to reduce malaria risk. A long-lasting insectide treated by nets is a solution that uses insectide, which is woven into each net, as a protector against the disease. Not only are insects blocked, but they are killed by the insectide, which stops them from spreading the illness to people who are not protected by nets. These nets make communities safer and lives longer. It is an essential part of Southern African lives and can reduce malaria transmissions by as much as 90% in areas with high coverage. Come on, keep me where Additionally, anti-malaria drugs such as artemisinin-based combination therapies (ACTs) can effectively cure malaria. However, ACTs are often hard to find in remote areas. Also, better health education is essential in order to spread awareness and knowledge of the dangerous illness and urgency to cure this once and for all. So, when does a regional issue become the world's responsibility? Africa cannot win this epidemic alone. As one of the poorest continents and made up of more poverty than anything else, it is very important other nations aid Africa to help. Donations for net awareness, education, drugs, and the technology for a curable vaccination will reduce malaria one step at a time. Thus, it is the world's duty to help solve this crisis. <laughs>